Ah, you can't go out like that. You look like a complete schlub. You need to iron that shirt, and here's how to do it. Read the shirt's label. Really, you need to do this step because you have to understand what type of fabric the shirt is made of before ironing it or you could possibly destroy it. Prepare the iron. Ensure the iron has water in it and then plug it in and then set it to the lowest heat setting you'll need. Check for stains. If you iron a shirt that has a stain, the heat from the iron can set the stain, making it hard to remove later. So always give your shirts a good check before you apply the iron to the shirt. Moisten the shirt. This will enable you to dry iron without having to worry about your iron steam function. The easiest way to get a moist shirt is to simply pull the shirt out of the dryer before it's completely dry. If your shirt's already dry, moisten it with a spray bottle and keep that spray bottle by you throughout the ironing process so you can dampen the shirt if necessary. Iron the collar. If your shirt has collar stays, remove those first. Iron the underside of the collar first, slowly pressing the iron from one point of the collar to the other. Flip your shirt over and repeat on the outside of your collar. Iron shirt cuffs. Unbutton one cuff including the gauntlet button, which is that button about a quarter way up the sleeve. First, you wanna iron the inside of the cuff and then move on to the outside. When you get to the buttons, you wanna carefully iron around those. You don't wanna iron over buttons because that can leave a mark. And then you wanna repeat this on the other cuff. For French cuffs, you just want to open the cuff fully and it's recommended that you don't press the edges of a French cuff because it steals the life and body from a smooth fold. Iron shirt front. Start with the size that has the buttons and carefully work the iron point around the button area, but again, never over the button. Then move back up to the top of the shoulder and work your way down the shirt with the iron. And you want to repeat this process on the other side. And if you have a placket, which is that material that sort of goes down the length of your shirt, press the material under the placket with the iron point and then over the top. And it's worth spending a bit more time on the front placket and areas near the collar as they receive a high percentage of visual attention. Iron the yoke. So the yoke is the fabric on the back of the shirt right underneath the collar that spans the width of your shoulders or your yoke. Iron that by pressing from one point of the yoke to the other. Iron the back of your shirt. So start at the top just beneath the yoke and slowly slide the iron down. If you have a center box pleat, you'll have to spend a few seconds ironing around it. Iron sleeves. So sleeves are tricky because unless you have a sleeve board, you're ironing two layers of fabric at the same time. So the key to iron ironing sleeves is to be sure the fabric is flat and smooth before you apply the iron or you're going to get messed up creases. Take either sleeve by the seam and lay the whole sleeve and most of the shirt flat on the ironing board. If you can see the creases on the top of the sleeve from the previous ironing, match it again so that you have a single crease line. Start ironing at the top where the sleeve is sewn into the shirt and work your way down to the cuff. Turn the sleeve over and iron on the other side, then repeat the process with the other sleeve. Inspect and hang. Inspect the shirt and spot iron where necessary. Finally, place the shirt on a hanger as soon as you can so it doesn't get wrinkly. A few final tips. Iron shirts and batches. Ironing actually just takes a few minutes, but half of that time is taken up with preparation, like getting the ironing board out, warming up your iron, filling it up with water, whatever. So use your time more effectively by ironing all your shirts in one batch instead of whenever you need one. If you're in a hurry and you're planning on wearing a jacket that day, you can get away with just ironing only your collar, the front area right below the collar, and your cuffs. If you literally have no time to iron, then at least throw the shirt in the dryer while you throw on the rest of your clothing. Five minutes tumbling in the warm air will help loosen some of the worst wrinkles. Finally, you can always use starch. That's an option. It'll give you a nice crisp shirt, but you got to be careful. Don't apply too much. Your shirt's going to get really, really stiff. Well, there you go. How to iron a dress shirt. You have no more excuses for looking like a schlub. So keep those shirts crisp. And until next time, stay manly. Thank you.